Okay, so I added a couple more bits of aluminum there to help get more surface area and speed up this process. The valves are still open, gauge still reading zero. It's open away still, but now it's producing hydrogen gas, and you can tell because it makes it loud or a distinctive kind of pop. There it goes. Okay. So we know that hydrogen gas is exiting the system, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the output valve. Now that traps all the gas that's being generated from this flask within up to this point. So that means that the pressure gauge should be going up quite slowly. Because man, it's, I should have added a lot more aluminum. But I didn't want to waste what I had. But as the pressure builds up, there'll be hydrogen in the lines and it'll also be inside this tube. So there'll be hydrogen inside this PVC pipe. I have it submerged in cold water at the moment, but in the future, there's going to be some sort of thermocouple or diesel glow plug or something that goes in there to generate the heat. And that causes the magic material to break hydrogen bonds and release hydrogen gas. But that will that'll probably be in a follow up video. Alright, so aluminum sodium hydroxide bubbling away. It's going to come up to this tube. And there's a pressure gauge reading maybe almost 4 psi. A little pressure relief valve set at 5 psi. And that's bubbling into this tube. And it's blocked right there at that valve. And that means that the pressure in here is also close to 4 psi. That's 4 psi of hydrogen inside this tube. Now I'm going to keep my hand off this flask. And hopefully that cork doesn't pop off. But we're going to open up this valve and let it bubble through this flashback arrestor. And this thing of soap water. One second. It's going to release all this pressure. From that gauge, okay, and I know it's hydrogen because this thing pops. <laughs> With a nice pop too. All right, so I'm gonna go and empty out this jar. All right, so this is boiling hot water, so that means that this is at 100 some degrees or something like that, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. 100 degrees Celsius. So my plan now is to close the input valve, purge the lines. Okay. And that's all the way closed. Sorry, I had to do this with my fan. Let me make sure. And I need to purge this of all the hydrogen gas. It's in it, so the best way I know how to do this is um, just gonna open this, pull this hose off, Oops. and um, I'm gonna blow through it. Boiling water, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, close to. I'm pour it into this tube that's going up here. Don't worry about melting the PVC or causing it to flex too much around that gray. I need to come up with a better system for this. But I also want to submerge it all the way to the top so I can see if there's any bubbles coming out from where the PVC and the gray PVC connects, just in case. So, let's watch this. So, the valves are closed at the top. This thing's heating up. The material is heating up so it breaks the hydrogen bonds. It should flow down the tube, go past the flashback arrestor, and it should bubble out of this. But this is hydrogen gas coming out of this. And the bubbles pop with that characteristic noise you heard earlier. I know for a fact that this thing works. Fingers crossed, guys. Now this is very slow, just because of the volume it was. It was literally like a half inch PVC 
maybe six inches long and the material only holds hydrogen at most maybe five percent by volume so in terms of volume this isn't that much a little bit. Not, not what I was hoping for though. See the pop. No. Still no pop. 